Welcome to the homework for Lesson 4. It's Module 4 of Grade 2. Write your name first. We're going to be doing one of my favorites, called, often called Tape Diagram Subtraction. Now this is really the same thing that we were doing. It's the same mental math uh, for what we were doing in uh, Lesson 3's homework, the Arrowway. This is a way to draw a tape diagram to show it. Now, I want to just a quick review of tape diagram subtraction. This confuses a lot of people because they th kind of think of it backwards by accident. But you really only use this for minus nines, right? Which would be the same as like minus 19s or minus 20s, minus 29s, like anything when you're subtracting nine ones. Minus nines, minus eights, and sometimes minus sevens. But it's really only for minus nines and minus eights. And the idea is that you don't subtract 9, you subtract 10. And you don't subtract 8, you subtract 10. So you add 2. And here, and you'll see what the tape diagrams look like. And it, the important part is that it's it, you subtract the minus, you, you use it for, sub, for minus 9s, you use it for minus 8s, because you want to do minus 10s instead. So what you're going to be adding to both your minuend and your subtrahend is what you need to make it a minus 10. So you're looking at your subtrahend to see what you need to add to both numbers. So it's if, if subtracting 10 and adding one back is doesn't make sense, this one might work for you. And it's an easy way to draw the picture to show what you're doing. So, and here's, a, here's an example. The tape diagram is already set up here for the example for A. And it's a minus 9. So instead of minus 9, we want to do minus 10. So we add 1 to the 9. And that's just a picture of how we add 1 to the tape diagram. We want to add the same amount to both pieces of tape. So if we started with this, we started with a 17 and a 9. And we want to find the difference between, both, between those two numbers. It's easier to figure out the difference between 18 and 10. So we, if we add 1 to the 9, we'll have a 10. So we just add 1. So now we still have the same endpoints for both pieces of tape. So we made the bottom piece longer, and we made the top piece longer by the same amount. So that leaves the difference the same. The difference is unchanged. And that's kind of what makes this a little tricky for some people to get their heads around. So instead of 17 minus 9, we're looking at 18 minus 10, which is a lot easier to subtract. We just have to take away a 10, and we don't have to mess around with the ones. So it's going to be just, the difference is going to be 8. So here's the example from the beginning of 13, 33, sorry, 33 minus 9 for this one. So bigger number, bigger piece of tape, smaller number, smaller piece of tape. This is the difference between the two that we're going to try and find out. What is that? Well, instead of subtracting 19, how, subtracting 20 would be a lot easier. So I'm going to add 1 to this and make it a 20. Right now this is a 20. And if I add 1 to the 33, I have to add, this only works if I add the same amount to both the minuend and the subtrahend. Otherwise, the difference will change. So, and I'm going to add one to the 33. So now the 33 is 34. So it's 34 minus 20. If you look at just the the numbers you see right here, you're going to add one to both of those to get an easier number to subtract. It's all about getting an easier number to subtract, getting an easier subtrahend. 34 minus 20, 14. Now we have to draw our own tape diagram. It actually might be easier than using the ones that they set up because we're going to start with 60 and 29. And we want to find the difference between the two. 29 is a difficult subtrahend. 
So I'm going to add one to it and make it a 30. And I have to add the same amount to both numbers. So that's adding one to both numbers because I needed one to get the 29 up to a 30. So now I have 61 minus 30. 31 left. And now this one's going to be a minus 8 because it's minus 38. So that means this time we're going to be adding 2 because we want to get it up to the next 10, which would be 40. We start with 56 and 38. And I want this, the subtrahend, it's always get it about getting an easier number to subtract. So I just want to add 2 to make it a 40, right? Because now it's 40. And I have to add 2 to the 56. 56 plus 2, 58. So now I have 58 minus 40. It's 18. And this is really, um, the drawing the tape diagrams is really just, a, it's a, a way to draw out, draw a picture to show a mental process, to show the mental steps of getting an easier subtrahend so you can subtract the numbers in your head. Now, we're going to do some more here. Solve, and we're using number bonds for these now. And it's the same thing. These are going to be, you know, we're looking at plus, now we're, we're doing this with addition, so it's going to be plus 8s, plus 9s, there's a plus 9, there's a plus 8. So these are going to be all about making, the, it's always about making 10s. It's always about making 10s, and uh, so this is going to be making 10s to add. We've done this before. Uh, and this is just some more practice for it, but with two-digit numbers. And we're writing down the steps. So you can see this, 28 plus 43, we need two more. We see that 8 in the ones place, that 8, di that eight the digit there. We need two more to make that a 10, to make this a 30, which is an easy number to add. So when we take, we think of this 43, as a 2 and a 41 and that way we can have make call this a 30 and add it to a 41 and these are much easier numbers to add mentally 71 because you just have to look at the digits when you're when you have a zero in the ones place it's you only have to look at the tens place digits so we'll look at this we have 49 well we need one more to make that a 50 so we'll take part of that 26 for that one and the rest of the 26 is going to be 25 because it's just one less. So now we have this 49 and that 1 is 50. And we're adding it to the 25. 75. A lot easier to add mentally. 43 plus 19. This 19 is almost a 20. So we need one more to make it a 20. And we're going to get it from the 43. When we take 1 from the 43, we're going to have 42 left. So it's just 1 less. So we're going to add the 42 and the 20. Sixty-two. And see that here's the 28. We only need two more to make that a 30. So we're going to take that 2. That 2 more is going to come from the 67. Take 2 from that 67, there'll be 65, because 65 plus 2 is 67, right? It's a number bond. So that's there's our 30 plus the 65. 65 plus 30, 95. And now we have a word problem. Kylie has 28 more oranges than Cynthia. These are both girls' names, usually. Kylie has 63 oranges. How many more oranges does Cynthia have? Draw a tape diagram or number bond to solve. Well, I like tape diagrams. And we may be able to use our tape diagram method to use the tape diagram, not just to look at the 
just to organize our thoughts and organize and figure out a solution strategy but we might be able to use it to actually solve the problem too so kylie has 28 more so this is kylie and this is cynthia kylie's going to have more than cynthia so that means cynthia has less we know that kylie has 63 oranges and we know that it's 28 more than Cynthia. So this is the more, right? This part here is the more that she has, and it's 28 more. Uh, how many oranges does Cynthia? We don't know how many Cynthia has. Draw a tape diagram or number bond to solve. So, well, here's our 28. All right, we could... I know it would probably be really confusing. But if we wanted this 28 to be a 30, we'd have to do it backwards now, wouldn't we? Tape diagram method would be 63, 28. We want that 28, we want to be, right, we have to find the difference between these two, so that's subtraction. Add two to both of these to use a to make this a thirty. And now this would be a sixty-five and sixty-five minus thirty. We start off with saying it's sixty-three minus twenty-eight, which is the same as sixty-five minus thirty, which equals thirty-five. If you did number bond strategy, it's going to look like this. 63. We didn't actually, we didn't practice number bond subtraction. We just practiced number bond addition, making tens. So this is, I think the tape diagram is, makes a little more sense with what we did for the, what we did for the homework here. So I'm just going to stick with that. And we need a statement. It's about how many oranges Cynthia has. So Cynthia has 35, 35 oranges.